So this is called a flirt pole. There are many different types of flirt poles, but this one is from Outward Hound. As you can see, it looks a lot like a cat toy. So you take this loop, put it through the other loop, and take the toy, turn it back in, and it gets nice and secure like that. They're easy to refill, which is good because they can get destroyed pretty quickly depending on how tough your dog is. And the way they work is you grab the handle down here and you wave it around and move it back and forth and your dog will chase it. Some varieties are more durable than others, but the more durable ones tend to be a lot more expensive. This one was pretty affordable. I think it was under 10 bucks, but it's actually still really sturdy. It has a little bit of bend in it, but not too much. And the string is another thick nylon rope. And the toys at the end. The flirt pole is an especially great tool for dogs with a high prey drive and for teaching impulse control. So I'll show you what it looks like when you use a flirt pole in a minute. Remy absolutely adores this flirt pole. He's not really into thatch, but he loves playing with the flirt pole. So I'm going to show you how we play in just a minute. So first, to teach them impulse control, I'm going to tell Remy to sit, which he's already doing. Now wait. Get it. Now I'm going to wave the flirt pole back and forth, making the animal scurry through the grass. You can even run with it if you want. Oh, sorry, Remy. Now what you don't want to do is you don't want to wave it in the air like this because the dog can jump up and potentially hurt himself. And that's what happened when a friend of mine was playing with a flirt pole with Remy. He had it up here and Remy jumped really high and he actually hurt his foot. He was limping for a while. So you always want to keep it low on the ground. Oh, good job Remy! And when he gets it, I'm going to give him a little time to enjoy his victory. He gets to play with it for a little bit. Good job, Remy! I'm not gonna let him have it for too long because he'll destroy the toy. And he destroyed the last one already. But he gets a little bit of time with it because he earned it, he did a good job. When you're ready to play again with the flirt pole, you're gonna have to have your dog drop it. Remy isn't really great at his drop it yet, so I have to use some treats to get him to do it. Let's see if I can get it from him. Remy, drop it. Do it again. Come on, Remy, sit. Now wait. Get it. Oh, that was so fast. That was too easy. Good job, buddy. And that's how you play with a flirt pole.